Do you have trouble saying no? A lot of people do. A lot of people do. We must be believing that it is better for us to say yes when we want to say no than it is for us to actually be sincere and authentic with whoever it is that we're, we're doing this with. I could not go to that place for years and really say what I think and want. And so when I decided that I was finished with that kind of thing and I wanted to change it, uh, literally, I, it, it atrophied that place, that place of, well, what do I want? And what, if I say no, do I, do I, you know, am I not a nice person for saying no? Just all those questions were addressed. And it was awesome. The freedom that I felt in taking steps toward saying what I want, doing what I want, saying no what I want. It's all part of a whole picture. First, you have to have the awareness that you want to say no. Then remember that your happiness is as important as anybody else's. <laughs> you're allowed to be happy, you're allowed to want what you want, and you're allowed to say no, just as a reminder to yourself. When you say no, say it lovingly. Feel it lovingly. And that might take practice. We're not, maybe not used to doing that. The fourth thing is allow the other person to be unhappy if, if he or she wants to, without judging them. Can you allow yourself that freedom? Can you start in little things to say no or to say what you want and feel good each time? I am so grateful that I learned how to do that for myself. I, I you know, I was such a victim and I mean, I made myself a victim. That's what victims do. <laughs> and, uh, and now I can say what I want feel loving even if the person doesn't like what I'm saying and feel they're allowed to. They're allowed to be unhappy about that. And I'm allowed to say no. And I'm allowed to say I want something different. And so are you.